hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so, um, so today's video i want to share this thing that's been going around social media you know when this news first came out that way they broke up and um you know i made a video saying people were dragging this girl and all of that truthfully let's be honest there are a lot of people that were saying okay how can this only this is his third marriage and um apparently his first his child he has a first child he had when he was 19 and he was not married to the lady and then he married his first wife they broke up he married the second one which is the Edo girl uh Edo lady he married they broke up and then this girl this girl is a fellow yoba and they broke up as well so there was some people that were like okay come on you know what is going on how can only you have so many broken marriages there are some people that are saying that but there were some people or there's some people that decided to drag the girl uh, i'm not surprised you know i'm not surprised there's been conspiracy theories going on now people are bringing up a lot of stories and saying this is what happened blah 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 and all of that you know now i said it anything can happen anybody can sit down somewhere on social media and type anything and people will just be sharing it and they don't know if it's authentic source or whatever but there's this picture that has been circulating people are like oh look at what this girl and her family looked like before she married the king for anyone that doesn't know the only is a king and then the girl prophetess or whatever she i don't know what she she i think prophetess or whatever they say she is right so and uh, people started bringing out i'll show you guys this picture that people brought out i will put it on the screen but let me sh show you guys i will put it on the screen this picture has been going around okay and people are like, oh, look at them before, before they became, uh, she, before she married into the family, that it is the old need that transformed her life and all of this. So let's be honest. Everybody, a lot of people, if you bring out their old pictures, you will bow like, oh, is this you? Let's be honest. So people may have lived a life of poverty or whatever. The old need himself, have you seen his old pictures? He wasn't this, you know, old need looking guy. He was very regular, whatever. But the problem with this is that people are spreading a lie. And that is where the the line is right people are spreading the lie making it look like you know look at how wretched they look, look at whatever they looked and look at how you know, whatever they looked before they transformed but i'm going to tell you guys because i'm not i'm honestly i'm not a fan of any of them i'm not a fan of the only i'm not a fan of what i say i'm not a fan there won't be people there won't be people i follow or whatever but i'm i'm addressing their story not necessarily because of them but because there's so much we can learn from other people's stories right I want to show you guys it okay let me even show you guys what people are now using to compare and say okay look at what they look like now is the only money that they are using to look so fresh uh before they married before she married the only let me see screen this is the girl's instagram right this is the yeah this will be a more recent picture of the girl and her mother right so people are like oh is the only that has transformed her life look at her family what they look like before so this is what this is her instagram that is her and her mother that is her mother again that is her mother again and this is what they looked like before okay personally i would say this color the change in the color of their skin one of the obvious things that you can say is definitely different is the color of the skin i'm not a fan of people bleaching their skin because for me it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense and if you look at i feel like she i believe that she was beautiful even i believe she was beautiful look at that she was definitely beautiful. I believe the, uh, her mother is beautiful. You know, I, I really hope. Let me actually use this opportunity to, to address the skin bleaching problem. I don't know where people get the mentality. Or some people get the mentality that light skin is better. I don't know where they get it from. Let me tell you the better skin. The skin that is well looked after. There are some people that are light skinned. And their skin is not healthy. You, they will not make you like light skin. There are some people that are dark skinned. That their skin, you know, they have healthy skin, beautiful skin, well looked after. And it will make you want to be like dark skinned. At the end of the day, the important thing is looking after the skin you're born with. So that it can be the best it can be. Apart from the bleaching, another thing is photoshopping. So people sometimes, they photoshop their pictures so much where they look so light skinned. Not necessarily as they are. Because if you look at this other picture of her and her mother on the same Instagram... I don't think the camera is doing it justice. It's actually not as light as the first picture that I showed. It looks like a bleached skin to me. And if you look at the damage, there are some pictures of her. If you look at her hands, you can see the dark knuckles and see how much damage, you know, 
the bleaching has caused. I really want to use the opportunity to address that. This idea of people thinking that light skin is better or bleaching their skin. People are causing irreparable damage to their skin. That I don't know. Some of them, I don't know how they're going to fix it. I think the only way to fix it is to allow your skin to turn back to where it was before. And then everything may blend. But now, but, okay, that said... I want to, you know, the area I really want to address is the fact that people now say, oh, look at what they look like before, before she married Dioni. Uh, she had Dioni got married October 2018, right? I'll show you guys her Instagram before she even married Dioni. So this girl was already doing the prophetessing or pastor. I don't know what she actually does, but there's a church kind of thing she does. So I don't know if it's prophetess or whatever she is or pastor she is. I'll show, this is her oldest post on Instagram, right? And that was uh, 2017, before she married the Oni. Okay? If you look there, you can see the year there, 2017. So it wasn't like... So that other picture is a very old picture. People want to create this picture, picture that, oh, it's the Oni that make them... This is her before. This is her doing her pastoring thing. 20, 2017. Before the following year, before she, you know, before she even married the Oni. 28 this is her she was already doing the church thing right let me find another one that's her 2018 i mean 2017 put it up this is 2017 you can see she was already doing the church thing look there look at all her old instagram post to another 2017 that's her and her mother people now say ah look at how skinny they were before they're not chop belly fool is after she might Look at her mother. Her mother wasn't skinny here. She wasn't skinny there. Right? So, that is her church thing again. That is her and her brother. Okay? So, you can tell that that picture people are circulating is very, very old picture. This is her 2017. Before she married the Oni. You know, almost two years before she married the Oni. That's her old picture. That's her there. Right? She was already doing the church thing. She was already... Let me just see if I can... This is her before she married the Oni. If you now look at this picture and the picture people are circulating, you would know that she had already come a long way before she married the Oni. So at least I'm not saying... I'm not telling people what to think or what to believe or whatever or what side to take. Me, I'm not taking anybody's side. It's not my marriage. It's their marriage. But whatever side people want to choose, that's their choice. But don't at least let people know share lies. 2017... That is 2017. That's another 2017. Before, she was already doing the church thing. She was already... I just want you guys to compare these pictures of this girl before she married the Oni. And compare that picture of... That is much, much older picture. That is the girl. And they went and brought the picture when she was maybe 12 year old or something. Claiming... Look at... Okay? This is her before she married 2017. July 2017. Long before she married the Oni. Look, this is her Instagram. Okay? This is her Instagram. This is another one. 2017. See? Look at that. 2017. You see that? So before people... If you even go to the Oni's Instagram... Let me go here. Now, this is the post when Oni married her. This is the post he made on his Instagram. This is how... This is the girl when he married her. This is the post he made. If you look at the date... You will see it. This is the post he made. It is October they got married. Look, October 18th of October 2018 was when they got married. This is how the girl was, sorry, when he married her. And the post, he said, I waited patiently about the Almighty, the King of Kings. He eventually did it in the midst of many trials. Shile uh, Kuola, Moronke, Naomi, the greatest arsenal you can apply on this highly reverend uh, throne with many rules and regulations in the midst of undiluted tradition. Heritage and culture is the fear of God in you, which is the beginning of your wisdom on this throne of Odudua. You are welcome home, my beautiful and adorable, adorable queen. This is how she was by the time the Oni married her. But people are already spreading lies and saying uh, whatever they are saying. Right? This is you see, 
So people are now saying by the time it was after he married her that she became Kini. I just want to come here and share this because like I'm saying, I, people can belong in any, any camp, but there's no point in now trying to lie or cook up stories and brought a picture of when she was like 12, 13 year old or something like that. Very, very old picture. Before long, long, before the only married this girl, this girl was already doing the prophetess thing. She had already changed a lot. So there's nothing wrong with people sharing whatever, but people should, this idea of sharing lies is, is just wrong. And this is still that mentality of how dare you end a marriage with an Oni? Who the hell do you think you are to end a marriage with Oni? That is the problem some people have with her, that they decided to come and, you know, pre create this impression to give her, you know, this uh, reputation. We don't know what happened in the marriage. I always say, we don't know what happened. It's her life, it's her choice. People should have a choice to walk away if they want to. It's their life at the end of the day. You know, that's how I feel about it anyways. Um, as always, whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.